Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, we are going to perform uh, the stress analysis on spherical gas tank. So this is the geometry. I have given the geometry link in the description, you can download it. We are going to apply an internal pressure of approximately 200 and into 10 power 3 Pascal and we are going to fix the bottom edge. So let us start the analysis. Open ANSYS workbench choose static structural drag and drop it here so i'm not going to change the materials so let us keep as it is right click on the geometry and go to import geometry and choose browse and select the downloaded geometry so i'm selecting the spherical gas tank igs file next the model right click on the model choose edit So the IGS has a lot of parts, so it will take some time to import the geometry. Now the geometry is completely imported. So there are many contacts are there. So if you want to go for a detailed analysis, you can specify the contact types in between the parts. So here I am not uh, specifying any contact types. I am considering the entire contacts as bonded and I am going to the mesh. So right click on the mesh and click generate mesh. So as you can see the model is completely discretized. Next I am going to apply the boundary conditions. So click on static structural. So before going for the boundary conditions, I am going to create a section plane because we are in need to apply the internal pressure. So click section plane and draw a line like this so now you can visualize the inner side so right click on static structural go to insert choose pressure click control and select the entire structure i mean the internal side click apply so you can see that four phases and in the magnitude it is 2 into 10 power 200 into 10 power 3 pascal Next right click on the static structural, choose a fixed support at the bottom edge. So you can apply. Now go to solutions, right click on the solution, click insert and I am going to plot the equivalent on my stress and I need uh, the total deformation and I am also going to take the value of the factor of safety okay. so right click on the solution click solve so now you can click the equivalent stress so to remove the section plane okay we have removed the section plane you can see that this is the equivalent stress the maximum Amplitude is 7.4 e power 6 Pascal and you can animate to see the motion. Similarly, go to total deformation. Maximum deformation is 1.2 e power minus 5 meter. Then uh, coming to the stress tool, the factor of safety is 15. 15 is uh, under safe condition so this is enough so if you want to export the results uh, go to images choose image to file and you can give a name for this and it will be saved as a jpeg file okay so uh, to take the values of hoop stress and longitudinal stress there is a special video in my channel you can find it in the playlist and with that uh, we can separately select the hoop stress and longitudinal stress but this is the combined equivalent stress and uh, the total deformation thank you